Hello, it's Thursday, August 15th. I'm Keenan Smith. Family, friends and colleagues are getting ready to say a final farewell to L. Brooks Patterson. A second public visitation is happening today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Patterson's funeral follows at 1.30. Both take place at Woodside Bible Church on Rochester Road in Troy. Patterson, longtime Oakland County executive, passed away August 3rd following a battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 80 years old. And a Detroit police officer killed in the line of duty is being honored on the one year anniversary of his death. Officer Fadi Shakur was remembered at a vigil overnight. Shakur was struck and killed by a hit and run driver on West McNichols near Stahalen in northwest Detroit on August 4th of last year. He passed away 11 days later. The man who struck Shakur eventually turned himself into police. Well, Michigan State Police say they've arrested a man for threatening to shoot up his workplace. Troopers say they responded to Blake Cider Mill in Armada Township on Wednesday. They were told an employee was heard saying to himself, one day I'm going to shoot this up. Troopers went to that suspect's home in St. Clair Shores where he made even more threats towards customers. That man is now charged with making terroristic threats. We've seen a few showers very early this morning, but uh, we could see some more isolated showers and a couple of thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening. High temperatures could be near 80 today. Tonight, drying out 62 for the overnight low, and then tomorrow and Saturday, both with a chance of showers and thunderstorms late in the day after about 3 or 4 p.m. We may see some showers and storms into the uh, late day and evening hours, both Friday and Saturday. It's going to be a little warmer this weekend, 85 degrees on Saturday and Sunday with a high of 87. Next week, highs stay in the mid 80s through Wednesday. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. Well, the Detroit Board of Police Commissioners is expected to vote today on the use of facial recognition. Last night, protesters were uh, outside the Michigan Secretary of State's office on West Grand Boulevard protesting the use of that technology. Detroit police say they plan to use the technology to help identify suspects in violent crimes and will not use facial recognition on live video. Well, those are your headlines. Don't forget, you can get the news anytime by going to WXYZ.com and by downloading our 7 Action News app. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day.